What would you do if you won the lottery? Um, I wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> and then I would, um, what I would do is I would put that money, I would take it all out, mm -hmm. all lump sum, and then put it in the bank and then start investing. That's a weird way of saying um, you wouldn't tell the lottery commission if you told nobody. No. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm talking about is how if they told you, when you told them, like, I won the lottery, and then they told you, no, you didn't. Um, what would you do? Your whole plan's ruined. My whole plan's ruined. Actually, I didn't tell him from the start. <laughs> so in this in this case, it makes in sense. In this case, it makes sense. Yeah. But in this case, a man is suing Powerball because he thought he won $340 million. Oh, my God. <laughs> but yeah. it was taken away from him because... It was an error. Yeah, I know. I I saw. I as soon as you said, "What if they said?" Um, if they said you didn't, then mm. that's where I'm like, mm, this. I would. I'd be very upset. Yes, I would be very upset too. So, when you go to play the Powerball, where would you look to find if you won? Oh, uh, you would look online, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or you go in person, but that's the thing. This person went online, he woke up, saw that he won the lottery, won $340 million, mm -hmm. took a screenshot or took a picture of the website saying he won, went back to sleep, and then he went out a couple days later and then um, found out that he didn't win. That is so soul, that is so soul crushing, mm -hmm. by the way. And... So we have additional like things to talk about. We have like why they're not paying him out, but we'll talk about that further after you consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, come on interesting topics like this one daily. So if you want to stay up to date with interesting topics like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So it was it was actually an error, and it was because someone had posted the wrong numbers as a part of a quality assurance test. Okay. But, you know, like how long would a quality assurance test take? And why would you post it on their actual website? That those yeah, are that real doesn't numbers. make any sense. Uh-huh. This is, this is crazy because, like I mentioned, it is so soul-crushing if you see oh, all of this money essentially <laughs> and, like, and wow, you think this, that you won. I feel like one million is life-changing. You have 340 of those millions of dollars. Yes. It's so, that's so crazy to think about. I would be... Like, to, to be honest, like, I empathize with the person. Um, oh, I'd be upset. I, I think I feel like people are very upset for the person. Because, yes. like, like the, how dare you take this away from them? So, it's like, oh, you know, maybe it was only up for, like, an hour, like, five minutes. Maybe it was up for one minute. Guess how long this error was online? Like a day? Longer. Longer than a day? Three days. Three days is such a long time. There's by the way. no excuse at that point. Like he would this thing, you're like, oh, you know, it's been up there for three days. There's no way you can like say it's a mistake. Yeah, that's somebody true. would like say it. He's you know, like, these aren't the numbers. Why would you have the fake numbers up on for the three real days? Website yeah. on the real website for other yeah. people to see. There's no way. No, no, no. So now he's trying to sue Powerball to get his money back. I feel like I feel like. This is one of those stories where, you know, you see later down the line, they'll just refund them the ticket. Mm. <laughs> it's just not nothing. Yeah, I mean, there's like some weird things that happened around him too, where like someone came up to him and was saying that um, that he should throw the, the ticket away. I would like, not throw the ticket away. Get rid of it. And I was like, what in the heck? It is yeah. so crazy because that is life-changing amounts of money. Like you mentioned, like even $1 million. That is a life-changing amount of money. Um, so it is crazy that they kept that up there for three days. It's crazy that, um, that you know, he has to even go through this process. Mm -hmm. um, because at that point, like you mentioned, it's like, they're, like, you know, mistakes could only, I feel like mistakes could only last so long. Yeah. So, looking further into the article, it, apparently um, the numbers that the person saw did not match the numbers drawn on the televised lottery drawing on January 7th. 
adding that the numbers online could not have been the numbers drawn because the incorrect numbers were posted online the day before the drawing. Hmm. However, this was up for three days. So yeah. that would be the drawing day and the day after the drawing day. They were up still. Do you think someone got fired over this? I would I would think so. There's no way they wouldn't be fired. Yeah, that's such a long time. And especially like essentially saying it's like, like these are the numbers because not like who's watching television nowadays to be honest that were mm-hmm. like i wouldn't go on i wouldn't go you on just YouTube. go on the website yeah i would just go on the website i wouldn't even go on like on youtube and find like oh yeah it's like these are the, the day of these Wait, on the website yeah i would just go to the website yeah so the like loophole is that according to them there's a disclaimer on the lottery website that's, oh really <laughs> that says apparently the website is not the final authority, quote unquote, for the drawing. So I, I'm i like, why would you post these fake numbers on there? And then like, why even have a website with these that wouldn't be the final authority? Like, why, why else would they even be on the website? Yeah, that's true. Besides to, you know, check that. It feels like they're not in the in modern times if they're not updating their website because I don't think it would take too long to update like a website with a few numbers. Yeah, so <laughs> this is wild because the lawsuit basically is saying that um, it's a reliability of an institution that promises life changing opportunities while heavily profiting in the process. Yeah. So you know, like, why aren't they like being more like strict on any type of errors because like this this is like actually life-changing this is like ridiculous yeah it is it is uh it is wild like i mentioned i do empathize with the guy i feel like hopefully he at least gets something but i feel like uh most most times it's like what they're gonna try to do is try to pay him out the ticket and be like oh here here you go and i feel like that's that shouldn't be the case, especially like it is such a weird disclaimer that that um, the website isn't mm. the the final authority on that. Yeah, because it's like I would imagine they would have changed it like the day mm. of of the what is it the day of or even yeah. just not have them up there at all because that would be easier. Yeah, does not have a website. Oh, no. I mean, just block out the numbers until you're ready to put it up. That is true. I mean, they were supposedly testing it, but I'm like, what? quality assurance testing, couldn't they just have it on like a test server that's not facing the public? Yeah, know? that's true. But one thing that I think of is that, like, is this, like, some sort of, like, binding agreement? Like, you go and it's like, oh, there's a contract being made. Like, oh, I would give you money mm-hmm. for a chance to, like, win this money. And if I see the numbers, that's, like, verification of a contract complete. Yeah. And, I mean, there is a disclaimer, but... I wonder if the disclaimer actually has any like merit yeah. merit or like, you know, law that like states that like, oh, you know, like if it, it would be legally allowed that you have this little disclaimer yeah, and it, it would void it. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. I just think that this could have been handled way better because yeah, I mean, also, what are the chances that you get a ticket that has the same numbers as the test? That is very true. Because that is also very lucky, but also unlucky. It is, very, it is all very lucky and very unlucky at the same time because, like, you've seen how many times that the Powerball has been missed, and and it's like it's gone up to the billions. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's kind of crazy that like someone went through and actually hit all those numbers. Um, for yeah. the quality assurance test. Because I mean, yeah, it's it's one in two hundred and ninety two million chance yeah. to get it. That's and crazy. it's like what are the chances that someone makes a mistake and the mistake also was your number? You know? Yeah, that's true. But I mean apparently it's pretty pretty I I mean, I don't know. I feel like there's a, a tough situation where I don't know if there's any money to be like given out. Like there's supposed mm-hmm. to be like a pool of money. But then again, you know, maybe they would be able to give the money out. I don't know. I don't know. You think how he's gonna get? I, I don't know, because like he would, he's suing for the amount that he would be owed in terms of the, I think the winning. He, I think he might. They might settle out out of court and just give him like a few million, per, hopefully. 
I think that probably is going to be the case. Like they're probably trying, that's probably the best case scenario. Like the, the question would be, do you take him to court, take them to court and then like fight through the whole thing for the chance to get the full amount? Or do you go and the settle out of court for maybe like a couple million dollars, which is still life changing. But at that point you'd be paying lawyer fees and stuff to like compensate your lawyer. So that might be a lot less. Yeah, that's true. But what would you take to not sue for the three hundred forty million? Like, mm, to not sue. I mean, like a million. It was, it was like is, fifty fifty. I would fifty fifty. Fifty fifty chance that you win or lose. Fifty fifty. If it's fifty fifty, you go at least. You go like, all the way. <laughs> you go. I would say um, fifty fifty. Deal or no deal. Deal or no deal. You might as well go all the way if that's going to be the case. But if if it's that's not, true. if you have a hundred percent chance. To get like let it between, ride between like ten million, like five mm-hmm. to ten million. Then I, if you, I would take that if it's a like a higher chance. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I think I would go. With, I mean, you would pay the lawyer based on whether you won the case or not. So like, if you don't win, they get nothing. Yeah. But if they do win, the kid, the money. Yeah. You, they get like a third. They so they get a hundred yeah. million dollars or something like that. Oh my god! But then you still get two hundred million versus like if you sit out of court, there's no way they're gonna give you two hundred million dollars. No. So no. you find the best lawyer and give them that deal, and then like you know what, we'll take you up. I don't think this is fifty <laughs> on, on this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think this is unfair? I think it's unfair. No, it is hundred percent unfair. But yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.